Look, I know what I want to say, but I can't say it yet. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess it was Ron's testimony then. All right. Huh. A little two one punch like that wouldn't even phase me. Okay, just reload. When he starts repeating dialogue, that's your cue. Uh, load the game. What? Oh, right, right, I forgot I did this continue shit. Silly me. Okay. For a second, you scared me there, game. Haha. <laughs> Alright, present my Magadama. We'll take this downtown. Okay. So I need to think about this a different way, then. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Garasu. One major contradiction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shows to contradict the evidence to the content of the blackmail letter. Okay. Well, in regards to the blackmail letter. bring up the red diamond. Like, that's not something that we can just sort of throw out there. Can we? Like, what do you say the red diamond you just got? The other day. Like, what red diamond? That's the contradiction. That's the ultimate contradiction. But how do I get about doing that? Hmm. I have no idea. I guess the fact that revealing his identity doesn't make any sense if he's not the, the thief. If he's not mass to mass, then it doesn't make any sense. Correct? In theory. Let's try that. Huh. A little one-two punch like that wouldn't even phase me. It's one, two, punch. Fuck. Mr. Right, shove it up your ass. Kaboom. All right, we re reload. Fuck. I don't know. I really don't know. This is terrible. It's going absolutely miserable. <laughs> I apologize in advance for everything. Well, this happens so often to me. I don't get it. What did I ever do to deserve this? Alright. But if it's just a few.
Is it the fact that it doesn't actually reveal his name? Yeah, everyone's just assuming it was sent by this guy, but it doesn't actually give his name. Ha. Huh. No. Okay. Try it again. God, you have to go through so many hoops if you just want to do it again. Fuck it. Alright. Maybe it's the fact that all this shit here is like super expensive and he kept making him get more and more and more and more and more expensive shit, so why would he go down to 50,000? I guess that's worth a try. Huh. A little 2 1 punch like that wouldn't even phase me. Oh, really, bitch? Think you mean 1 2 fuckle my shoe? 3 4, you better stop this video. Like yesterday should have stopped this video before he even started it. Um... Phoenix, right? Get it immediately? Probably. written by him, so that was a stupid thing to even send. Completely forgot it was written by him. But how do I present the red diamond? Damn it. has no idea what he's talking about. Am I not supposed to be at this line of questioning yet? I don't know. I am so annoyed right now. Holy crap. I'm just sitting here in dead silence. 
Uh... Okay. You know, I just had that thought right now, but let's see what happened. It contains a picture of the Tear of Eminon, the stolen jewel. What about it? The problem is this jewel's color. Color? I'm not much for discussing color myself. I thought this was a long time ago, not the other day. He mentions that he stole it the other day. How, like, what was the string of these? Oh, my God. Like, I thought that was, like, over the course of a couple of years. Or, like, a year at least. Not, like, the other day. Garbage. This whole game's garbage. According to the clippings, the color of the stolen jewel was blue. However, in the blackmail letter, a totally different jewel is mentioned. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. Red. Which means, the red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tier of Eminon that Mast stole at all. Objection. And your point is, Mr. Trite? So you're trying to say that this blackmail letter was intended for someone else. That's what you're trying to say, right? Trite? That's what you're trying to say, right, Mr. Wright? Well, is that what you're trying to say, right, Nick? Yes. This is who came forward was actually blackmailing. Take that. Now I can get it. That's all I needed. Naturally, it was you, Detective At Me. Do you have some sort of basis for that claim? You have been personally involved in every single Damask Max Max Mass case. And in that last case, you recovered what was stolen and received the jewel as your reward. A jewel. Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. That is the diamond referred to in the letter. Which means that the Kane Bullard wrote that letter in order to blackmail you. Oh baby. Finally. Order. Order in the courts. Um, um, order I say. Shit, not the court record. Not the court record. I don't like the way he said that. I don't like it at all. Just quickly run and save. That's my only safety in this game. <laughs> Let's start it again. Game Bard Blackmail. Are you for real? Yeah, I am. Nick, come on, stand up to him. And answer me. This. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world. Yes, it certainly does. Kimbo threatened to make Luke at his identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So just what was that identity? And they killed Kimbo because he was afraid of the secret would come to know. What's this identity he wanted to keep a secret? This is what it all comes down to, Nick. The identity that you want to keep so desperately secret is that he's a blackmailer. Look at me, was a blackmailer. Objection! I knew it, sort of. <laughs> hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said that Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing go at me. Are you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? Uh, you have to admit that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. But Rhonda Light was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. So did you start to read blackmail letters starting after this incident? Yeah, just a few days after the Tear of Eminem heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mall. I received um, plans from some very kind person. They're going to be detailed plans. Detailed plans? In which case, that would mean that Ronda Light was actually masked the mask. That is what we are claiming. Someone else came up with plans and had Mr. Delight deal his targets for him. And that someone was none other than Luke at me. 
silence. <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. What is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Careless with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? Yeah. How did you? <laughs> you say that I look at me as blackmailing you on the left. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relations of no man the mask. Oh, yeah. Ronda Light started receiving plans from his second crime on Earth, correct? Which means, I learned of his identity when he committed that first crime. Good boy. You certainly couldn't have blackmailed him otherwise. Okay, so let's see some hot bitter evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke at me know that Ron Delight was past the mask? Uh, the newspaper clip that he was on the case with the shit he found where he dumped the costume. Come on. Right? It's the only logical conclusion I could come up with. Let's say it's the paper clip. I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief trying to be the center of attention. What do you mean? This newspaper clip. It has a picture of you and Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Master Mask didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in a bucket. That. That sounds far too stupid to be true. Correct. With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Atman. That's when you figured that under his mask, mask the mask was really Ron Delight. Ooh, baby. What a fraud. Damn. Get fucked. The audience is on my side for once. Why you? How dare you expose me like that? Why I? I mean, I never blackmailed anyone in my life. I'm a famous and proud ace detective and, and also Master Mask. Why can't you understand that? I'm afraid you are neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That is your true identity. Why, you? How dare you even come down with the cook of the father's up the window? Why are you trying to do something that's with the big math of yours? You would have a fool, say. None of you can compare to my genius to win any just yells. So long, that's good to me. Come on, about it. The SD attack we cannot serve this blackmailer, but it's a threat. It's enough to make one laugh. Ow. It would seem we've finally gotten to the real answer. That was quite a performance by Mr. Atme. Bailiff, please prepare a cell for Mr. Atley. Objection! <sighs> the hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. <laughs> I love this guy. What do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my sentence. Allow me to say one more thing. I will be the one to judge. It. You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't sharp enough, Mr. Tryon. <coughs> Where do you... It's sure that you've proven a lot of things. Being such a little was a filthy black man of the night of the murder. That's right. That's why he's the one who killed Mr. B Bug. There's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse for a man was at KB's security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No. No, no way! You're really gonna pull the strings of that one, Gato. 
Well, Mr. Wright, this is it. This is the final round. Please excuse me while I save my game. No! I did it again. I fucking did it again. Oh my god. That button is the bane of my existence. Holy shit.